This fall, Monticello School District community members will have the opportunity to vote on additional funding for Monticello Public Schools. Following several lean financial years, the district is asking for just enough financial support to avoid budget cuts for the duration of the five-year levy cycle, as well as to stabilize the technology budget and allow us to continue to provide one-to-one -one devices for all students. The first question on the ballot on November 2nd will be an operating referendum question to generate $2.1 million. This question would lower the amount of budget reductions required this year and in future years, allowing the protection of certain programming and staffing. The second question, contingent upon the passage of the first, is a $1.2 million operating referendum question. Passage of Q1 and Q2 would allow the district to avoid budget-related reductions entirely this school year. The third question on the ballot will be a $2 million technology levy. Passage of this question is needed to continue to maintain one-to-one -one devices for our entire student body. This would also provide funding to improve technology across the district, such as increased smart boards and sound fields in classrooms to improve the education experience for every student. Lastly, the passage of Q3 would allow the district to shift $800,000 of staff funding to the technology budget, freeing up that same amount in general funds, which would allow us to remove budget cuts from the five-year forecast, matching the conclusion of this levy cycle. Due to a funding gap in education, bloated by inflation issues and lacking state and federal funding during the past two decades, ISD882 is one of many school districts across Minnesota that is in need of increased rev revenue to avoid significant and painful cuts to programs and staffing. While the state has provided a boost in their funding this most recent budget cycle, it doesn't begin to close the gap generated by 0% funding increases several times in the past two decades. In fact, after making $3.2 million in budget cuts during the last four years, Monticello School District is facing another $3.1 million in cuts this year alone without additional funding from a voter-approved referendum. While we are fortunate to receive one-time funding as part of COVID relief packages, that funding needed to be directed towards staff and programs to help us meet COVID spacing and safety requirements last year. Those same funds are now being used to help address the COVID learning gap with specialist one-to-one -one help and additional teachers to maintain competitive class sizes. We are also fortunate to have an operating referendum already on the books, thanks to our supportive community. However, the funding generated by that referendum still has us well below state average. Currently, the property tax impact felt by our school community ranks near the bottom of all local school districts. The total school property taxes payable in 2021 on a $200,000 home in Monticello are $666. Districts such as Big Lake, St. Michael, and Elk River come in more than $400 higher than that. To be able to maintain our current programming and to retain our incredible educators, we need additional dollars to help us close the funding gap and to help us continue to give Monticello students the educational excellence that they deserve. Which is why, even in a challenging time, we are coming to the community with this ask to support our students, to support our educators, to strengthen our community. To learn more, please visit www.monticello.k12.mn.us backslash levy. Thank you. Prepared by Independent School District Number 882, 302 Washington Street, Monticello, Minnesota, 55362. This publication is not circulated on behalf of any candidate or ballot questions.